you love to the mall. Put a couple cabos and a hundred dimes. Call a slaughter gang, you get your paw. Drago with a drum, the bitch ain't never go stop. We on that line, boy. Slaughter gang, brain stole. It's the mall. What's going on inside, baby? I'm rocking with my age and Simone and Sweet Candor TV. Believe it. Pull up with a stick, let it hit. 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 Hey, what's up, everybody? It's my agent Simone with Sweet Candor TV, where we highlight, enlighten, and change lives. And I'm sitting here with Mr. Pull Up With A Stick himself, Sai Baby. What's going on, man? <laughs> How are you today? I'm all good. And you? I'm doing fine. Uh, we getting ready to order some food right now, so we're going to you know, get right to it. <laughs> so, you're originally from Chicago, but you have like Atlanta, uh, you're known as an Atlanta artist. How did you get that Atlanta street cred? Uh, well, when I came down here in 2005, I was visiting my uncle. He was on Kempton Road. We moved back down here in 2010 when I was young, so I just grew up here. Okay, so you pretty much got it. I'm giving you the sauce. You been here, you went to high school here, correct? Yeah, I went uh, high school and middle school. Okay, so, so you got it. So speaking of school, I hear that you are an honor roll student. Now, how important is it? Um, to get your education and then go to college and finish college and things like that. Oh man, it's real important to get your education so you can know more. You can know more, believe it. And you know, it's crazy because a lot of people may feel as if, you know, rappers, they they get this I'm dumb persona or they're stupid. But I really, I run into a lot of rappers and I mean, you got to be able to have a vocabulary, a good vocabulary to be able to put words together and put verses together. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, you got to have that else you just going to be repeating the same thing and you ain't going to know what to talk about. So it's good to have that. You were 13 years old when you moved down here, correct? Yeah, yeah, I was 13. <laughs> And so you, you went to middle school. So describe your journey through middle school. Like, how was it your transition from, you know, moving to Atlanta? Middle school was great. You know, we stayed on Seal Road with my uncle. It was a lot of us staying there. It wasn't the best situation. You know, we were sleeping on the couch and all that. It was a messed up house, but but you we made the best out the hood. You know, we was I met a lot of my uh, childhood friends, all that stuff. But, you know, I went to Seal in middle school, though. You know, I was in uh, some grade. I met a lot of friends there. A lot of my friend, one of my friends passed, one of my childhood friends, both from middle school. You know, we had a lot of fun. We used to snatch and run out the store. We used to be in Oakland City. We used to do a lot of fun things, steal cars, a lot of that type of stuff. So basically your friends, your day ones that you started with, they're still here in the picture. Yeah, yeah, they still here in the picture. No. You know what? That that's just a blessing because most people when they you know when they get on or when they're on the path to greatness, they end up switching up a whole you know their circle ends up changing because it's like they say the money changes you or the people around you. So that's good. That's important. Keep that you know the whole entire time. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's that's just how it was though. So you, so your affiliation with Knife War, you talk about that a lot in your songs. Like go deep into that for us. Well, Ninth Ward, that's a hood on the west side of Atlanta. With a lot of my brothers, you know, they doing their thing too. But uh, it's it's the mob over there, you know, and we doing our thing. What inspired you to do music? Just to how how did you get started? Well, it all goes back to uh, Seal Road when I was 13. We had a little studio in the house, so my big brother he was doing he been doing music all his life. So I just started playing with the mic and I was let playing with the studio, watching him, and I just. Start making a little fat music. First, it was booty at first, but now it's going hard now. You are you the baby? Are the young? Are you the youngest or? I'm the middle child. The middle child. So it's how many? It's four of us. Four, okay. Yeah. It's four of us too, so I can relate. Uh, two cousins. They was with around us all the time. Boo man and uh, Pookie. They was around us all the time. So it was really about six of us. <laughs> Good. So now. Your father is from Chicago, and he was known as like a highly ranked gang member, and he turned his life around for the better. How has his story inspired you? Uh, you know, he got a lot of wisdom, so, you know, that be passing on to me, and he be getting on me about a lot of stuff and type stuff, yeah. Now, you have an interesting, I guess, how can I put this? You have an interesting way with women. Just based on your mixtape, congratulations, Sandoz. <laughs> you put out the mixtape. When did you put it out? Uh, October 9th. 
I think October 9th, yeah. So it's going on a few months now. You're getting ready to hit half a year soon. Is that, am I saying it right, Sanders? Sanders. Sanders. Okay. Explain to the people what that means. Break that down for us. <laughs> Suck a nigga dick or something. <laughs> Now, that sounds like a harsh reality. It sounds like a very harsh reality. Explain how you came up with the concept. Uh, you, I had a song called Sanders, and I was just saying that, I was saying that little uh, slogan in every uh, song, so I just made it to the mid So, that's so if you had to say uh, a crowd that you're trying to reach, what kind of crowd are you trying to reach, and how are you trying to inspire them? Uh, I'm trying to reach everybody. I'm trying to reach all the crowds. You know, I'm trying to reach all the crowds. Now you often talk about women in in a very interesting way on this mixtape. Um, I mean, a lot of it, you know, it's exactly what goes on in life. So describe the average Atlanta chick. I mean, you got freaks, you got everything. <laughs> you got a lot of type of women out here, but I deal with a lot of freaky women, so I just made sandals. So if you had to have a physical look, if you said, okay, that's an Atlanta chick, I can tell she's from Atlanta. What would be the one thing that you say, okay, that's it? Her butt and her body. <laughs> yeah, the eyebrows too. The eyebrows, they gotta be on fleek. If they're not on fleek, she's not from Atlanta. <laughs> I like the eyebrows. Okay, now describe the perfect woman. Uh, I like caramel skin women, little booty, you know. Little booty or big booty? Little, little, nice shape, not too much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not too much, I can't handle. Now, getting into something a little bit more serious, a lot of people um, feel as if, oh, you know, Psy Baby, he's a devil worshiper. He believes in, he strongly believes in this 666 concept. I mean, I'm sitting here, I'm talking to you. I don't feel like, you know, I'm getting a positive vibe. I don't feel like this whole demon child or whatever they want to call you, Illuminati King or whatever they want to call you. So explain the concept behind that. Explain your definition of 666. Uh, 666, that stands for black people, six protons six electrons and six neutrons they don't got nothing to do with the devil it's just a movement we got on got going on no dope i mean it's deep because you hear it all the time and you think oh you know he's he's getting ready to blow up you know he's getting ready to take off eventually he's gonna sell his soul and stuff like that i mean this is something that people really don't like to talk about but i definitely believe that there's a lot of people out there our age millennials or people who you know want to get deep into it and understand what's really going on so yeah, I don't got nothing to do with the devil though. We just we just got our own little religion and things we believe type stuff. But it nothing to do with the devil though. It's for black people to come back together. Word around town, you have a bidding war going on. Everybody want a piece of side baby. So, I mean, what offers are on the table? Do you want to say any names or how many? Uh, I don't think I'm discussing no names, but about 13 labels trying to sign me though. Yeah, 13 labels. Sheesh! And you started when? When did when did your career actually start? 2010, but I ain't started taking it seriously like 2014. I, I, it was just, I was just doing music. So basically, you feel like you're the first round draft pick right now. You waiting on, you know, everybody want a piece of you. You getting a phone call, your phone will stop ringing and trying to make sure you sign. I mean, how do you feel about, you know, signing? Do you feel like that's something you want to do or do you want to stay independent? Uh, it, it depends on what they talking. If they talking good or if they talking bad. It's, it's a, whatever the best situation for me and my family. Exactly, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. Does it offend you when people refer to you as another young thug or another 21 Savage? Nah, it don't, it don't offend me because they doing good things too, so they just compare me to people that's doing good things. It don't matter. Yeah, and that's good because a lot of, well, actually a lot of artists do get offended because, you know, they have like, I don't want to put, really put anybody out there, but they'll have different artists who've already been in the game a long time. And then now in the millennials, they have other artists coming out and saying, oh, everybody's trying to reinvent each artist that, that came out a long time ago. So being that you're real positive about it, and you're able, see, you're real positive. Like, I was, I'm not getting anything negative. It's kind of like you're not worrying about what nobody's saying. And, and that's important at the end of the day. Yeah, I, don't, I just try to block out all the negative energy. I don't think about that stuff. And that's all that matters. So explain to us, who is Saw Tokyo? Oh, that was a little uh, video game. I, I used to play a little game. That was my little video game name. So that was your video game name. So that's where you got the, so you got Saw Baby. No? Okay, explain your name. I got that from my auntie. Her name was T-Baby, and she used to just call me Saw Baby. So I just named myself that. Okay, that's dope. So what can we look forward to in the future, in the near future coming up? 
uh, y'all can look forward to a lot of great music. I mean, Sanders, that was just testing the waters, but I got a lot of great music going away. And I think I like the, it's a king of a jungle or something like that. That's my favorite song on it. That's my favorite song too. I'm gonna do the video to that one next. Ah, uh, that's dope. All right, so tell everybody where we can find you at on social media. Uh, you can find me at Sai Baby S A H B A B I I and Twitter S A H S A H B I T C H. And you can find me as well, my Asia Simone on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm everywhere. Uh, that's M I A S I A S Y M O N E. So the most important thing we got out of today was the fact that all rappers are not negative. Like we have a lot of different positive people out of here, out here that stand for a lot of different things. So I really appreciate you sitting down with us today. And you know what? You got a, a video that dropped today, right? Yeah, yeah. My video just dropped on World Star today. He's doing numbers. What's the numbers? You know the numbers yet? Uh, I ain't looked at it in a couple of hours, so I don't really know. The last time you looked, what do you think? Like, if you could guess. 131,000. Yeah. Sheesh. It's definitely doing them. So congrats on that. Shout out to Ben Mark, Hood Rich, the whole team. So Hood Rich is the one that shot your video, right? Yeah, Ben Mark and Hood Rich. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you all for tuning in with us today. And stay tuned for more Sweet Candor TV.